what's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. How's it going in there? Huh? You getting yeah, to figure it out? Really? Yeah. Hey, guys, we're at Walmart. It's time for the holiday special video of the season. We are doing a Christmas tree Santa Claus... Elf, Buddy the Helper, uh, video challenge. So, uh, we're going into Walmart. They've got Christmas trees. They've got decorations. Whatnot. We are going to attempt to build a duck blind out of Christmas trees, uh, fully decorated with ornaments, garland, lights, the whole nine, build an entire duck blind. You think so? We got heaters. <laughs> we'll put some heaters in there. I will say the high tomorrow is like 18 degrees, I'm pretty sure. So, um, I think I'm sick tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow I, yeah. <laughs> I might just send Banjo. Banjo's got, really? I think got those I say, I say Banjo <laughs> takes, takes over the, the channel for the day. Uh, so, we're gonna go into Walmart and get some decorations and whatnot, and uh, hopefully find some Santa outfits and you know Mrs. Claus outfits for Banjo, of course, and, and the elf. And oh, look at all the trees over there! Sheesh! There's a bunch of them. I think sale. Are they really? Ten dollars? No. Actually, yeah. well, ten bucks. The not there anymore. They're probably oh, free. Think they're free? Maybe. They, those ones look like ass, to be honest. Well, they don't no look one's very out good. here keeping guards. <laughs> Dine and dash? Or, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. We don't do that here, okay? Um, yeah, let's check out the Christmas trees. We'll pick them up on the way out. I'm thinking probably 10. You want some tall daddies? I, what? Yeah, I mean, we can get some tall ones, some short ones. I'm thinking 10 of these guys. Just, probably the short ones in front, we can get yeah. tall ones oh, in the back. 55. Oh, that was original. They had a sign that was up here like two days ago. I said $10. We'll Please tell me these aren't $55. Through. Please tell me these aren't $55. No, $55? Who's paying $55 for a dog? Looking tree. 65? Is that what they originally For bought? balsam fur? Well, I wanted 10 of these ducks, so I guess we're dropping like a grand. That's sick. Uh, on cedar trees, I could probably go cut them down in my backyard. But all right, well, we'll come back for those. I hope they're $10 or maybe 15 or 20 or something. So we're going to go get some decorations and whatnot. Like I said, Operation Build a Duck Blind out of Christmas trees starts now. Stay tuned. Oh, okay. Naughty is the new nice. Wow. This is lame. Where's the actual. Where's the costumes at? Well, you think, you think they'd have like a big that. sign that says like Santa hats with a big arrow, like a like red arrow? Yeah. That's probably. Where's she out of? What'd she say? Garden center. Oh, makes sense. That's where I would put a holiday outfit. Say what? She's like, oh yeah, they're by the garden center. With all the trees and stuff? Or how's that go? Maybe by the lights. Oh, okay. I guess it makes sense, kind of. All right, well, sure. let's go see what we can find. What you got there? Is that you for think Finn would go in there? Finn would hide in there. It's for a cat, maybe. Okay, I think Lady was on some garden center. Looks like it's lit. Looks like the North Pole over here. Like that? I mean, they're probably not gonna have any actual like suits, right? Do they have a beard at least, like Santa? <laughs> How's that look? What is going on there? <laughs> it's the top for your tree. Oh, <laughs> really? oh that's a stock. I'll get another oh, you know, one. Oh, you one? Yeah. Look at you. You're doing big things. Dang, kind of a sad selection. I mean, they have a lot of them, I will say. Oh, those are all stockings. Pool J. Oh, <laughs> that thing's actually kind of sick. <laughs> What's what that? Got it's in a here. skirt for your tree. Excuse me? All right, so hats. Yeah, we should. All right, we're getting this hat for sure. Wait, you want some of this since we don't have real snow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Home, <laughs> home is where the <laughs> wine is. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it got that? on me. Home is where the wine is. Okay. Okay, so think about this. Tree, we're getting live trees, okay? What do you put on your live tree? Lights? Ornaments. Yes. YouTube? Yeah. YouTube. Uh, it, flare. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've actually watched it. He's got like oh, five yeah, subscribers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I appreciate that. You guys don't happen to have any Santa suits, do you? Honestly, I like, Or like a beard or anything? I can look it up for you. What is that like, right there? I was just looking at that. Oh! Score! Right, we're good. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. This is clutch. Oh, you. you gotta be kidding me. How, is, how did oh, we yeah, just I was like, see why was it right there? I think Banjo gets this hat instead. I like that hat. It's a nice hat. Dude, oh, I'm stoked they found this, though. Dude, this, like, I was Where was it? It was just down there? Under there. Hidden. It was the last one. 50 bucks. Cheese and rice. What's going on? What? Excuse you. Is this a pillow? Tree. You got a tree. You need lights, garland, uh, a tree topper. A you ever get the, pop, the popcorn? Yeah, who, who does that? I like what? Old people. We, oh, oh, you string oh. the popcorn on there? Why? Oh, yeah, I know you're Why, that. though? So you can just you're just like, mm, I'm bored. What do you think that sucker's good for? <laughs> Where are you putting him? Just hanging him up there? You want these? It's like a bucket of thing? Oh. Ornaments? Yeah, ornaments. You like these the ornaments? The gold guy? I don't know. It's the only like one these? I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, right here. What? You got lights right here. Oh, next to the grills. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Next. Oh, oh it was next to the seasoning. How silly of me not to know that. What do you like? You like big ones? Excuse me? She's at. Yeah. So these ones? Oh, you're only these yeah. guys? How many do you want? How many are you getting, son? I don't know. How many? We got like, we're getting lights. 10 trees. Oh. 
what, like a net holes? one? You could just throw it the over the whole tree? The net one would be a lot easier, right? Yeah. Should we just get a bunch of nets? Sure. A multicolor net? One. We don't really care about looking good, so yeah. yeah. Three. Four. Oh, I'm running out of hands. Five. <laughs> Think that's enough? Sure, for the front. Yeah. Five nets. What about a tree topper? What are you putting on the top of that sucker? Oh, jeez, nice. Alright, oh, that'll work. Is that big enough? Yeah. Sixteen dollars. Wow, that's not cheap. Do they have ornaments that have the hooks already? Because I don't really want to do that. Oh, those don't have hooks? No. Oh god, yeah. What's going on? Jeez. I think you need hooks for those too, but you know. Sick. Oh, these already have the hooks on. Let's just hang these. No? Fifteen bucks for one. Wow, that's not cheap. This is outdoor branch clips. Yeah, I mean, it's going on a tree. So. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's... Yeah, sure, that's fine. We'll make that work. Do you see garland anywhere? No. What the hell? Or do you just do, like, the fat ribbon? I seen, like, not there. Yeah. Well, that's, that's basically There's ribbon. Fatter oh, here's you. ribbon right here. I was looking for the big fluffy stuff, you know? Should we just rock one? Should we just rip, rip one of these guys around there? Oh, what about this guy? What's he got going on? Why that's does that good. look like Meemaw knitted that? All right, we'll, wrap, big, we'll wrap that around there. Big snow globe guy? Sure. Throw it up and shoot it. All right, is there any, if you got, if you or no, decorate not, Christmas, what else do you need? Nothing. We got ribbon, we got ornaments, we got lights. Got one star. We got a topper. We have a Santa suit. Is that all we need? I think we're good. All trees. Right. Now we gotta go load up 10 trees. Dope. Jesus. <laughs> it curves red and you still hit it. Oh, no point. Oh, These yeah. are 15 bucks, bro. That's crazy. Uh, all right, we got eight of these bad boys. Oh, geez. Merry Christ. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas. Just hook around. Oh, oh, these are strapped down pretty good, I think. Strapped down pretty good, huh? All right. Well, we got the supplies. We'll see you at the duck spot. Shoo! All right, well, we made it back to... Uh, well, we're at the duck place here. This is the old lease, and uh, it's freaking cold. I'm glad I brought the Santa suit because I might need it. I didn't bring any coats. I didn't realize it was going to be this. So who's who's sweeping the, the poop deck? Why is it, yeah. Where's that? There's no way that's mine. Why is it so little? Somebody's just sweeping. We got this brushed up, and Papa Beefcake came out, and he actually cut. Remember this lid right here? How you can only fit two beefcakes out the side. He cut it off, so now we should be able to fit like how many? One, two, three, four, five. Five super comfortably. Six tight. Probably six would be a little bit tight. But it's blowing freaking super windy right now. Yeah, that's dude. That looks good. Sheesh. Gone. You wouldn't even know it's there. What's our wind tomorrow? Our wind's blowing the opposite of what it is today. What do you think about that? I don't know whose that is. I just found it. Right now it's blowing from the south. Tomorrow it's blowing from the north. I think. Well, it's gonna be 18 degrees, I'd imagine, not come. This is from the south, why is it so cold? Yeah. This little, that might work. Like, for us, this, we, like, I would put the Christmas trees along the shore, and then we can just sit. Excuse me, there's a hold in. Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez, I just fell again. All right, I'll just crawl down there. What do you think about that? This grass is pretty good, too. Like, put the Christmas trees here, and we just sit. And I think the wind is it might hit us right here, but we'll be wearing banjos, nice warm coat, so exactly. ain't gonna matter. North northwest 17. We'll be shooting this way so the birds come this way, so we can throw our decoys in that pocket over there. God, my hands are cold. <laughs> we got eight Christmas trees, so I think it should be plenty. So we're gonna try to build that blind out of Christmas trees, get them all decorated, and then I think we're gonna put the decoys out too. Trailer, we got the duck trailer down there. Yeah, we're gonna set out all the goose decoys floater so we don't have to deal with it in the morning so anyway stay tuned all right folks well i gotta get the santa suit on i got waders on at least tomorrow i'll wear the full oh came with a belt and all look at that let's see this is a coat i think oh god yeah you look like santa already ho 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 you like this, this is it looks good. pretty you official. think the ducks are still gonna come in no what because there ain't gonna be any ducks here you don't you, banjos don't have any confidence this year is about the worst duck hunting year you ever darn did see boy we had some good times early season but late season was not the strat oh oh yeah like there's why is he like, got a jerry curl george washington <laughs> here he here he i ain't gonna be able to see shit wearing this sucker the bangers about to kill him man oh, hang on hang on i'm looking at the reflection oh i look good happy holidays yeah put your belt on i don't need a belt <laughs> i'm not wearing pants all right pants? no don't get too excited now so we brought an earth auger so my theory was to make like you know a foot or so of the trunk then earth auger a hole and set the trees down we should be able to line them up pretty good i'll wear the hat oh yeah. shit why do you look like you're wearing a tree in your head you think the ducks would actually not come in if i was wearing this i mean they may flare at 40 yards 
That's all right. I can get out there. See how good our blind is. Maybe our blind is will be mint or something. Ah! You want to grab that earth auger? I'll cut the twine on this bad boy. You big you real tree guy or no fake? Really? What are you? I don't believe in Santa. The hater. It's a hater. That's no, I'm not. Grinch costume. No, I'm a fake. I don't. I have had real trees. I don't see the point. You got like water. You got a waterman stuff. vacuum up their needles. How wide do you think this sucker's gonna get? The reason nobody bought this tree. Yeah, seriously, it don't it don't open up very wide. This, hey, this thing don't have thorns. I don't know what kind of tree it's about. I like it. It's soft. Kind of soft. It's yeah. really soft. Uh, white pine. I don't know, but I like it. So, yeah, I think we'll probably throw all of our decoys there. And go there and shoot them as they land. Yeah. We'll probably put the spread out that way. How you feeling about it, Banjo? This mud might be sticking in if you can just stick it in there. Throw that sucker in there and then squish it down. Yeah, look at that. Sheesh, this worked pretty good. You think it would just grow there? Do you think it would stay alive? Shall you? I don't know if it'd grow, but that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Re we're replanting trees. We're basically Mr. Beast. One down, a bunch more to go. Stay tuned. I mean, so far, spacing's pretty solid, I think. I mean, we just gotta fluff them up. Fluff them up. Front, obviously we got covered. We're thinking they're gonna come from that side. We got the river down yonder. So, birds should come this way. So we got this really looking good. We got a couple behind us. And these, they don't look, it doesn't look like there's big gaps. But all you gotta do is let gravity, gravity bring it down. We gotta pack these bad boys in still. So we just gotta fluff everything up, and I think we should be good. But we left a couple little shooter gaps. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, I can sit right here, peek around. I mean, the only part I can't shoot from is right here, but it's not a big deal. I think Christmas trees might be the new strat. Might be. Should probably trademark those suckers. Get your, du get your duck's going? Christmas tree. Is this where the star's going? Yeah, I would, that looks like the best, the best point we got. Right there. All right, well, we got trees up. Time to start decorating. It's freaking windy out here. I took, wow, geez. I took my waders off because I was sweating. Now I'm cold. But we got lights. Our uh, ornaments, they don't really work. We had to do, this is what we kind of had to do. Because the we're missing a little hook, we couldn't find it, so just gonna have to give her one of them guys. All right, well, let's start with the front tree, I guess. Big Christmas lights guy. Sure. How many Christmas trees do you got at your apartment? Just one. That's what non-serial killers do. So that's good. All right, so here's my end. So we gotta we gotta touch ends. Okay. Touch tips just a little bit. Is there a special way to do this? Or just give her one of these guys. Yeah, I mean it's made for a bush. So it's made for a bush. Well, this, this tree identifies as one of them. Why is it blowing 40? And tomorrow's the cold day. Oh god, that'll be fun. All right, looking good. Let's grab the next one. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, those lights look good. Oh, this looks good. Are you good? Yeah, yeah. Don't hire Beefcake Christmas Light LLC. Dang it! Don't plug it in, Clark. Okay. You gonna wait till we like put the lights on it or the ornaments on? You turn the lights. No, off? see if the lights work. Oh, okay. You gotta. Hey, we got lights, look at that. Oh, this will, this will look good in the morning. When it's all dark out. All right, well, let's, uh, let's where's garland? The straight out oh, ribbon, I wouldn't call it garland. Ribbon, let's ribbon these things up and put some ornaments on it, stay tuned. Now we're talking. There we go, Vance, what do you think of that? That looks awful. And that's all the ribbon we got. Sick, dude. This is sad. I mean, in our defense, we got eight trees to decorate. I think I am, buddy the elf. Oh, look at that! What's wrong with it? Banjo's got no faith. He don't even believe in Santa. I don't believe in Santa. Rip, they don't even go on. Just put them in there. There you go. Really? Yeah. Oh, my attorney's calling me. I should probably take that. All 
All right, that's good. I won the lawsuit. All right, so Banjo, you guys got it decorated while I took care of legal business. Yeah, I don't like that. Good news, Banjo. We're not going to jail yet. Yeah. Excuse me? Was this like a security sensor? No, it's a try me, it says. Excuse you? It says try me. Oh, there's no power. How do you try it? If there's oh, no I think there's batteries. What? I don't think it plugs in. Wait, there's no plug-in? No, I think it's just turned on. Did it on. come with ba Where's the light? Oh! Quit touching shit. <laughs> I saw it blink once. Yeah, it was when I was touching it. Oh, okay, keep touching it. Oh, I have to hold it. Well, how's that go? I gotta stand here all night? Oh, and uh, the black thing goes so in there. So it does yeah, plug that, in. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. good. So you guys got ornaments. Yep. That's, that's they look you. good. Really? Real good. And then we got decoys too. You guys went and picked up some decoys, so yeah. that's nice. You like this guy? Sure. Can't you just plug it into this? Yeah. Plug it in, pal. It's working. Oh, it is. Is it on? I saw it blink. Are the lights plugged in? Oh, the lights aren't plugged in. <laughs> oh. I swear I saw it blink. <laughs> Your ornaments look pretty good. I don't know what Love you guys... It? Yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Why is it sunny all of a sudden? That feels good, good though. I like yeah. that. Oh, it's on. You can see it. All right. Beautiful. Lights are on. The garland's on. The ribbon. The ornaments are on. The star's on. I mean... Now you just got to sing to us. Really? It's your favorite Christmas song. Um, sing about rock slaps. Really? Yeah, what do you think? Hear it. No, I can't sing. Oh. <laughs> I just like listening to it. All right, so are we throwing out decoys then? Sure. What I are these boxes? Help. Those are all good. Those are yours. Use. Really? You want to open them up? Am I allowed to? You're not allowed to. What's this guy got going on? That's a backpack. Oh! Look at that, we got a little backpack. <laughs> oh, we got ducks floating on. Are these available? Yeah. Ducks on the site right case. now. Float, do they float? Just imagine, just throw it in there. It floats. We tested float. it. Yeah, Remember we that? tested it. Did we do that on camera or off camera? Off we did that off camera. camera. I put my three thousand dollar gun and threw it in the pond and it floated. I probably oh, it floats with the gun in it. With the gun, it oh, floats. Oh, yeah. in my head, I was envisioning it like just floating on its own. No, it flo like, it'll oh. float your gun. Well, I took my two thousand dollar gun and yeeted it in there, and it was fine. Okay, so you got some decoys. So why don't we just pull those out? Yeah. And then someone can just go run and fill them back up, and two guys can throw them out and do that. Anyways, let's get the decoy set out. We got all of the uh, decoys out. Spread's looking awful. We basically are just like, how silly is put on my waders? We can fix them in the morning, and it might also depend on the wind. If the wind's coming more out of the west than the north, we'll adjust them, but essentially this is, oh, that guy's doing good. He's doing big things over there. Essentially, we're planning for a northwest wind, which is gonna go this way, which means the birds are gonna come from the river and land here. So we'll probably take those geese, this this right side of geese, and shoot them out that way. So it kind of makes like one of them do hickeys. And then the ducks are right over here. And then we'll be right over there in the Christmas tree. Ho, 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 Banjo, how you feeling about it? Oh, I feel like we're gonna just slaughter. You think so? Limit out. Really? Yeah. The only time we'll tell. We'll see tomorrow if we see any birds. But wind's blowing straight out the south today. Tomorrow, be straight out of the north, so. Could be a different, different story, but right now the story's telling me there ain't a bird in this county. So, anyways, see you guys in the morning. It's freezing out here, ladies and gentlemen. Really? We are, uh, it's the morning, and, uh, man, I think our Christmas trees are doing Christmas tree things. Man, do we gotta plug these suckers in or what? Plug her in! Oh, God, what'd I step on? That went right through my crop. <laughs> that went, I need tetanus shot now. Where's the, uh, Lucy? How's it going, buddy? No, you guys can't see much. God, it is not warm this out is here. Neat. This is neat. I like warm. this. No, you, I know you guys can't see nothing. Let's see it, Band. Oh! oh! Look oh! at it! It actually looks it good! It's lit! It actually looks really good. What the heck? Why are we good at decorating? Look at them. This looks legit now. We gotta get some clothes on, dude. <laughs> it is like insanely cold today. I'm not gonna lie, there's a decent, Lucy, you cannot run over that. There's a decent chance we're gonna end up sitting in the pit line um, if the birds aren't flying right away because uh, I don't know if we can handle the, the cold. We should be all right because we got Christmas trees kind of behind us, 360, and we should be able to kind of sit down beneath it all and get out of the wind, but oh, I haven't been this cold yet all year, boys. This is gonna be a doozy. I really hope them birds like to fly today because it's uh, it's chilly, buddy. You stay out of the water, Lucy, okay? Stay dry and you'll be all right. All right, we're gonna get geared up, dressed up, ready to go, dressed up like Santa Claus. Let's get to hunting. Ho, ho, ho. How's it going, Banjo? Oh, I'm doing great. You don't like this? I think the birds are gonna see us. No, why would you say that? 
the lights. Look above you. No, you'll be all right. That's neat. Well, we made it. We moved some decoys around a little bit. Lucy, you having a good time? Merry Christmas. I will say it, it's pretty warm in here. We're out of the wind. No, we're, yeah, we're out of the wind. Our trees are blocking it. The lights, I'm 50-50 on. I mean, that thing is literally strobing, right? I mean, I think, is that, doesn't that tell them to land? It's like, you ever, see, you ever been at an airport and they got all them blinking lights of them planes? You ever seen a duck land at an airport? No, but it's the same idea. They're flying, planes are flying. They're one with the plane, you know? So they see the blinking lights and they're like, oh, we'll go land over there. Is that how that works? Well, we don't have spinners, forgot those. I grabbed them and I think they might have blown out. I don't know. I, I remember physically picking them up, and then we got here, and they weren't here. So I, I, never I saw them. I hope they're somewhere at the house and not on the highway. But anyways, lights look good at night, though. Like, it almost looks like we, like, you know, yesterday, I would say that looked like a train wreck. But now you got some, a couple little ornaments, a little looks bit like of ribbon. a car wreck instead of a train wreck now. Oh, I'd take that. Lucy, <laughs> what do you think, pal? I'm it's glad she hadn't gotten wet. It's not warm. I'll be honest. It's not warm out here. But anyways, we probably got, we anyone got time to check on this? Something like that. You got your phone handy or no? I got my... Oh, Apple big Apple Watch guy. What time 7 7.05. You know what shooting time is? Mm, we got like five, six minutes probably. Okay. Well, hopefully the birds come in. Stay tuned. Kill him. One. Shoot, God, can you believe that worked? That was Watch quick. this guy. Hey, he's right here. What do you think? He's got a 50 cal. All right, I'm gonna shoot this one out in the water, okay? Okay. Lucy still behind us? Yep. Why can't I see? Shit? They came right in that. They came light. perfect, dude. Yeah. Why can't I feel? I feel like I can't see. I don't know where either of I see one. Yeah. Okay, I'll run this way, the bank. Okay. God, dude, I can't, I am like, am I the one that can't see right now? No, I feel the same way. I, I saw him when I shot. Oh, I see that one. Huh? He's over by the island. There's a, one of the geese by the island. We got two geese, can you believe that, that came in? We did turn the lights off, so we cheated something like that. Man, oh, it is so hard to see. How's the lighting on the camera? Is it's, it, not, it's about it, a week. It's gotta be see. better than, huh? Yeah, it's all by the island. He's an island boy. I'm an island beef kite. We got two honks that come in, like literally at shooting light. That's crazy. Banjo's gone recovering one. Yep. He's flying. You better hold the rock shells. Oh, Banjo's about to let one rip. Watch this. Hey! At a boy! Oh, Banjo got one. Banjo's on an adventure. That Bless that kid's soul, because that's going to be a walk. I feel bad for him, but. Lucy can't, she ain't gonna grab the a live goose. Like, she, well, she ain't gonna be able to catch him, it's too far. And that's like a half mile swim. She needs to go down where Banjo is and run across. But, she don't really like geese anyways, that's the only reason why I didn't really send her. Cause I didn't, I basically thought she would just spook them and then we can't shoot them if she's right. next to them. If you don't see it, don't worry, we'll get it later. Them birds came in good, huh? Yeah. I didn't, I, I, I didn't think they would even see our decoys. They're so dang dark. I mean, I would say Christmas tree challenge worked. Yeah. I'm not dressed as Santa. I don't think it would matter. With as dark as it is right now, I don't think it would matter what you're wearing. The lights, we turned the lights off. We weren't we weren't feeling the light strap, but. Also, not, Band's just talking out here. Huh? And they just come. <whistles> popped right in, so. Yeah, I think we're, we'll go grab that other one later. It headed that way, so it's going to be against a far bank. That's a far, and that's a mile walk. Hey, Lucy, don't get wet. You're going to be cold, and you're going to be complaining later. Well, we got two Hong Daddies, so that's a good start. Stay tuned. Dead bird, Lucy, here, here, here. No, fetch. See, she don't like the goose, I told you. Hey, fetch up. Right here, Lucy, here. Banjo's a better bird dog than you. This good guy, work. This guy was alive. Those, yeah, oh, I know. They're far shots. They were far. But hey, we, we got, got it done. We got them down. That's all that matters. Sit, sit, fetch, here. Here, fetch, Lucy. Here, fetch, yeah, fetch up. Why does she hate geese so much? Fetch up, fetch up, Lucy. Fetch. Holy <laughs> shit. What's what's fetch in Spanish? Lucy. Fetch. It's not even that big of a goose. Lucy. Fetch. 
she don't like the geese. She'll push them to you if they're in the water. But that's why I was like, I'm not even gonna send her, because if they get up on land, she's just gonna play with. She thinks they're her friend, I think. They're just, too, they're too big. I gotta get her. I, babe, you all right? I'm good. Was that not the darkest it's ever been outside oh, when you've yeah. shot a bird in your life? I couldn't see them once they were dead on the water. I saw them because we waited, and I was on them, and I shot. And like every time I shot, I could see them because they were in the sky. Yeah. But when they were on the water, they were gone. I was like, oh, I can't see them now that they're on the water. That was by far like the darkest it's been outside. Well, I mean, like these clouds. I mean, I guess yeah, it's just like dark no moon. storm clouds. Like, yeah, no moon. You know, they're like, not just like clouds. They're like dark gray, so it just makes it tough to wow. see. But have but, you seen anything else? Uh, there was like two doves or something. Oh. I got excited, but I didn't shoot. But I heard hurry back, and I was like, is there something flying around? Well, I didn't say hurry back. Oh, I thought that's what you said. Oh, no, no, I was chilling. <laughs> we, me and people were just hanging out. <laughs> Lucy, I am pissed you won't bring me that bird. Really? It's not that big. This is like a medium honk. Grab it by the, hey, grab it by the wing. Grab it, grab it, grab it by the wing. Come on, here, fetch, fetch. Sit, sit down. Fetch up, here. Here, fetch, fetch. There you go, grab it. That's a stick. Why are you fight? You see, she just starts eating the stick. Why? Lucy, fetch up, fetch up, Lucy. Good girl. Come here, Lucy. Bring it here. Fetch up. Come on, Lucy. Lucy, fetch, fetch up. Oh, what the heck? You had it. We got to get her dialed in on the geese. But anyway, let's get back in the blind. It's freaking cold out here. All right, folks. Well, Banjo's. He's got the eye of a hawk. You can see the goose walking on the shore. He's walking down over there, like way on the other side. So we're gonna walk back to the truck, take my truck, kind of get around there and then send Lucy, hopefully, and she can get him. But we were just literally sitting there, not a single bird flying, nothing going on. Banjo goes, I think that's that goose. And he's up and walking. So we're gonna see if we can find him. All right, we're on the move, Banjo. How are you feeling about it? Oh, we're gonna get it. Well, he's got to drive around just to get closer to send Lucy. He's walking pretty quick, so he's got to, Try to close the distance here. So far, I haven't seen nothing besides those those boys right right at the beginning. So stay tuned. I held her. I was like, you ready? You ready? You ready? Good girl. It's in water. She does all right. Yeah. Good girl. Here. 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 You're not getting away in this household, pal. Not today. That one's a little bigger. He is bigger. Now we're eating. Hey. <laughs> hey. Now we're eating good. We got two, baby. There we go. Good job, Banjo. Good eye. I can't believe yeah. you saw him. You, can you see the Christmas trees around here? Far, that's a far walk. Well, I'm glad we didn't walk that. The walk would have been a doozy. Good girl. If she fits in water, she'd be all right. Yeah. I'm going to get back in the truck. It's cold. Well, we suck. How many ducks you see today? Four. That's, no, actually. That's didn't. four more than me. <laughs> I didn't. We didn't see any birds. We saw a couple. Couple were like... By the time we heard the geese, you ever, you know when sound travels and it's like delayed because it's like a jet? We would hear the honk, so the wind's blowing this way. We'd hear the honk. By the time we saw it, or heard it, they were over, like, they were gone to where then they couldn't. They were in a different state. They were in a different county. There's two flights of geese that did that. They were about 400,000 feet in the air. Other than that, we didn't see nothing, so, I mean, we got two geese, which is good, better than nothing. At least we got some food. Lucy got to retrieve one, Bans got to retrieve one. It's a good dog. We're sitting here just kind of waiting, not seeing much, and looking at Peace. these little ornaments here that it'd just be a shame if you know somebody used them as like a you know clay pigeon so to speak dead bird oh she gone Thanks, we have to go get that oh it sang <laughs> it's, it's sang you want one yeah hang on oh they're coming in they're coming in get ready get ready take them Oh, man. <laughs> oh, those are three and a half. I was wondering why that hurts so damn bad. Hit his decoy. Really? No. <laughs> yep, pull. Oh, that's over oh. there. <laughs> oh! It was high. Just not in your direction. 
Fetch up! Fetch! <laughs> Good girl! Hey! Don't crunch it! Alright, bring it. Come here, Lucy. There you go. Mary Chrysler. Well, folks. Hey, Lucy, leave it. It's all right, leave it. We suck. <laughs> Damn, that would have been good, right? I was right there. <laughs> I'm leaving these decoys out because there's no way of my ass picking them up. You're hunting tomorrow? No. The next day? It's it's a strategy. This is leave until so next September. Oh, okay. No, I think Pop Beefcake wants to come hunt out here tomorrow, so I'll, I'll let him handle that situation. God, <laughs> who taught this kid how to walk? Hey, I will say, as long as your birds come in like at shooting light, you can shoot them by hiding behind Christmas trees True. with with stars up top. Lights weren't on. I wasn't dressed as Santa. I don't think it would have mattered. It's too cold for that though. I got I, I can't fit the pants over these waders. Too thick. I don't know how. We gotta, we gotta like we need to go this we, up like a new. We need a good game really changing recipe because this might be one of our last waterfowl videos of the year. I mean, clearly the birds are not here, and I don't know where they're at, but they're not here, and I don't know if they're ever gonna get here. Maybe it'll get better. We do have ice eaters out in the water, so if it does freeze up, we can open it up. But ideally, we got to get a good recipe for the goose. So, that being said, we'll see you guys back at the house. Boom! We are ready to get to cleaning, Banjo. You poke around until you find that hole right in there. Take your fingers and you just pull that fat. You want to go on the right side, then you want to cut on the left side. Once you get to this point, now you just got to detach it from the skin, essentially, which big old chunk of meat. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Lucy, are you excited? Okay. Well, we are gonna try something new. Jake, you got the recipe. Oh. Banjo's on his way. He's running late as usual. He's being oh, big. I got uh, stuck in a meeting. I'm big meeting guy. So we're gonna go ahead and start the process since it's gonna take a little bit of time. But this was your recipe, your idea. So what exactly are we making today? Pastrami. Goose, Goose pastrami. pastrami. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So like literal pastrami, which I've like I that word to me I can barely pronounce it. But I don't know exactly what that means. So walk us through. I mean, we got ingredients, but walk us through what is what's pastrami? What makes this pastrami? What's pastrami? It's cured and smoked meat. So oh. Cure it first. Okay. Then smoke it. Okay, so cure and smoked meat. And then you like to slice it thin. Yeah. Kind of like, almost meat. like a deli yeah, meat. Okay. So this is the harvest. As you guys saw, we got the two honk daddies. So there's our meat. And then you actually, we're, we're professionals now, okay? This is like Food Network, right? Where you're watching a show and they're cooking. They're like, all right, so marinated for 24 hours. Then they walk over to the fridge and they're like, so this one was marinated for 24 hours. See, we're going to do that. We're stepping up our game. So you already brought, already cured and ready to go. He's in the fridge. Ready, ready for the smoker. Go. So ready we can eat it today, even though how long do we cure this for? Anywhere between like 24, 72 hours. The okay. longer you let go, the more flavorful it'll be. Oh. The one we got Kinda in like there, jerky, yeah. yeah, got yeah it. Basically, okay. the one we got in there has been going for like just over 24 hours. So. Okay, so it, it's just, it still should be pretty good. So yeah. you kind of, you know, it's just like marinating, you know, the longer the better, whatever. But, mm -hmm. okay, so what we're going to do first is we got to take these out, we're going to dry them off, and then we've got a, an assortment of ingredients to cure it in a Ziploc bag. So we'll kind of walk you through that process then we're gonna take the stuff that jake already brought and we're gonna go put it on the smoker and smoke it for 225 until it hits 150 it usually takes like an hour hour and a half okay so not too long a couple hours on the smoker and then we take it off and then do you just let it cool and then slice it or is there a you process cut it hot if you want cut it hot so hot and so it cold I've got a little meat slicer, so is that what you, you is that what you just want just rip on that? Get some real thin slices. Yeah, get some real thin slices, and then you even brought some bread and some mustard, and so everything to make some sandwiches. So pastrami, goose pastrami sandwiches. Lucy, you're excited, aren't you? Even though you don't like bringing the goose, you like eating the goose. So. Well, let's get started. Take these bad boys out. And these guys, they've been soaking for a couple days in water, changing the water, you know, every, I don't know, 12 hours or so, twice, twice a day. So there's still a little bit of blood in there, as you guys can tell, but really not that much. Um, I always think that helps. You know, would it probably matter in an instance like this where you're smoking it, seasoning it, curing it? Probably not. But that gamey taste to me kind of come. Mel, what do you... What language are you even speaking? I don't even know what you're... Well, it's not cooked yet. You can't get it. I always think the gamey taste kind of comes from the blood. So I like to get that out of there. I mean, I don't know. I don't like the taste of blood. I don't know about you guys. It's not like the gamey taste is awful, but preferably I don't like it to taste like taste like blood. So we're going to pat this stuff dry because the whole idea is when you cure it is, and it dries it out, isn't that pretty much what curing does? Yeah, you're just like... It, se that. it seasons it and it dries it. Yeah, basically it pulls all the moisture out of it. Got so it. Like all the blood and all the water left in it, it's yeah, going to pull it out. It'll pull it out. Put which there which makes it not taste like ass, and then yeah. the, the seasoning makes it taste good. So, uh, kind of a one-two punch, so to speak. So, soak it in water to kind of get everything to drain out, but then the curing it and stuff like that will even drain it even more. Man, that is just a big old honk daddy. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. All right, so lay this guy in there like that, and let's put this guy here. Okay, goose is done, so now 
we need to mix in the seasonings. Okay, good enough. Half a cup. We got onion powder. Got one, two, still feeling four? Yeah. Three, four. Okay, so same thing, onion and garlic powder, four teaspoons yeah. in total for each. I'm fighting the sneeze right now. Okay, oh, yep, it might win. <laughs> Season till you're sneezing. <laughs> Put that t-shirt. Tender quick. That's the old cure. One and two. Thyme leaves, I think in here. Just dash, a couple dashes. Is that good, is that? Yeah, that's okay. Fine. And then we got rosemary, same thing. Just yep. Okay, and then is this coriander? What is this? Yep. Oh, look! I see. I <laughs> saw that without even looking at it. You ever seen? You ever seen people do one of these yeah, numbers? Is that is that work? Shakers, I don't know. Use quite a bit of that. That's where the pastrami tastes. Oh, okay. So you you just tell me when. I'm like the pepper guy at Olive Garden. You just say when. Not what I do. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, hey, how's it going? Well, that'll work. That's just probably that's probably about packed. Yeah. <laughs> Brown sugar shack. Basically move this sucker around. This looks really good. Cover it up nicely. Now I saw you shrink wrapped. Is that key or no? Is well, that, is I that do key? it because it just kind of helps keep it like up against the meat. Really oh, okay. Good. Yeah, the the actual seasoning you're telling me you here. Get as much air out of there as possible. You got to do it. Okay. That'll so work just fine. So once it's coated, you want to get the air out of here. As much as you can. Redneck vacuum seal, <clears throat> right there. Give her, give her one of these guys. There you go. It looks pretty vacuum yeah. sealed to me. Yeah. That's Sorry it. Pulling water out of it. Yeah, look at that. It's pulling, pulling the moisture out. So that bad boy is good to go in the fridge. Yep. And just like I said on the Food Network, wabam! This one's already been ready to rock and roll. So we'll take this guy out. Oh man, that's not good. Throw him in. Give them a little rinsey. Okay, so in they go. And then you sit them back in the fridge for 30 minutes. Yeah, and that lets right now the they're moisture. full of salt, so now okay. you need to let a little bit of liquid back in, okay. or they'll be just like way overly salty. When Got you it. Them. Too salty. Yeah. Stay tuned. Shoo! Look who showed up. Just you know, in time to eat. That's what I'm talking just about. Just in time. All right, so. These suckers have been sitting in the fridge for 30, 40 minutes, getting rehydrogenated. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and throw that guy down. Feel the texture of that bad boy, by the way. Yeah, when you picked it up. Is that weird? That is weird. It's like, it's dried, but now it's wet, but it's still kind of dry. It smells really good. It smells amazing. So, we gotta dry these bad boys off, and then we're gonna re-season them. After we, we wash the seasoning off, rehydrated them, and then <clears throat> re-season them, and then smoke them. And we're thinking it might take an hour, hour and a half to get to 155, is that what you're thinking? No, 150 One, to 160. Okay, so nice take those guys out. Oh my gosh, they smell so, so good. See, Onion powder. However heavy or not heavy you want to go. Yeah, I mean, I'll just give everything yeah. just a little, mm -hmm. little, I mean, it's been cured and marinated, so it's gonna already have some flavor. We got some coriander seed, and we've got whole coriander seeds, right? Know yep. what you were saying? Okay, so throw that guy on there, which this is what gives it the pastrami taste. Yeah, coriander, the coriander is what makes it taste like pastrami. Okay. I can't tell you last time I've had that. Pastrami? Yeah. I know, but it's like one of, those, it's one of those foods you don't have, but when you eat it, you're like, why the yeah. hell don't I eat this yeah. more? And then like six months down the road, you eat it again. You're like, man, why don't I get this more often? It's an underrated meat. So this is smoked paprika. This is garlic powder, same thing. And then thyme leaves, big thyme guy. Black pepper, throw that guy on there. Whole coriander. Kernels. Go ahead and pack them in there. Smoky barbecue might be kind of good. To really? Smoky to it. Just a little bit of this guy. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. We're talking about. All right. Well, we're gonna season up the other side. We'll see you guys outside. Choo! She is smoking. All right. Going on the grill. We got both sides all seasoned up. Which pellets you got in there? Ooh, I just dumped them in. I want to say mosquito. Maybe. Oh, it might be a hickory. I'm not sure. I like hickory. Either way. Good. All right. Well, see you guys in an hour or two. All right, well, we're gonna probe these guys, Banjo. You ready for that? Yup. Oh, okay. Three, baby. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, Lord, shut her down. Let's get to slicing. How are you feeling about it? It smells pretty good. I think it's gonna taste really, really good. So, how are we slicing this? Like, uh, you might want to cut it in half first. Okay. And it's like manageable. Okay. All right. Hey, why? Why does that happen every time? Every time. Because I have too 69 many knives yeah. on there. Oh, she! Look at that. Good? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's cutting it. We hand 
slice in this? Yeah, throw that thing away. away. That thing's just, it don't slide very good. Think about all that. That is fire. That does not taste like goose. No. Really? Macy would like that. That bread done good. Good stuff. Mm. That was really good. All right, how are my knife skills? You like this better? Yeah. That's what you're looking for. Hey, Junior, what do we got going on here? And that is why that Macy is will not try this. Three inch two. <laughs> That'll do it right there. Oh, wow. Wow, that's I'm not even touching it. Do you see that? That's what she said. No. All right, here we go. Goose pastrami. Mmm. Oh, wow, that's busting there. Mm-hmm. Once you get the mustard and the rye bread. That it's mustard? Just, yeah, that combo. Perfect. I mean, you can just eat this like this. BB. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Heard that. <laughs> Black cloud. <laughs> Who's shooting the cloud? Macy will not be trying right. this. Nah, <laughs> now Macy won't eat it. Well, anyways, goose pastrami. Jake killed the recipe. Thank you. That I'm was really delicious. Good. Very different. Not that hard. You guys saw the process. If you guys shoot geese but don't like the taste of geese, this is a way. You can easily get rid of it. You put it in sandwich bags. I mean, you could save it for probably a week or two. Don't quote me because I want you guys dying. But it should last refrigerated. You can make a bunch of sandwiches with it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you on the next one, and peace.